Hi everyone! Welcome to my live creative time today. My name is Mandy Witherby from Mandy's Papercraft Creations and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Today is a surprise live. Um, I don't normally go live on Fridays. However, I was unable to go live yesterday on Thursdays at my normal time. So I thought I would do a surprise one today on Friday because I have got a really cute project to share with you today. And um, it's very cute, very pretty using some brand new product. And so I wanted to share that with you. So as everybody is finding me, uh, finding their notifications, I will just bring this up on my um, computer so that I can see all of your comments there. So just bear with me um, and I will bring this video up. So if you see me looking over to the side, I'm just looking over to my computer over there. Got to push it right over in the corner so it's out of my um, way so I've still got room to craft on my desk. So hang on, Whoop, let me just turn the sound off. There we go. And great. Now I can see your comments there. Hey, Megan, how are you going today? Surprise, surprise, seeing you on a Friday. <laughs> Hi, Amanda, great to have you with us today. How are you all? Um, oh, you're making some coffee mugs today and some card fronts oh awesome very good having a crafty day that is fantastic very good so i am um using my computer to watch all the comments now because i was finding with my ipad it kept freezing all the time my ipad is due to do another update um, which i haven't done yet i must do that today um, so i'm hoping that maybe that with that update it might help to um sync everything and hopefully it'll work better with facebook lives but anyway yeah so if you see me looking over to the side it's because i'm reading your comments over there um hey tina marie great to have you with us today how are you how are those grand puppies going <laughs> um all right so um i have got um a a uh, lovely card for you today um, a fairly um, easy card to put together not so quick and easy as some that I show you on Thursday but still fairly easy to do um, so I will jump into that in just a moment but before I do let me share a couple of things with you um, while I think of it and um, before I go any further let me just say to that um, we were very sorry to hear about um, the uh, about Kazaz um, not uh, running with an online um, or with having consultants anymore. Really, really feeling for all of those consultants who have lost um, uh, that opportunity. And um, yeah, I, I just know that if it was me, I would be feeling terrible and very, very sad. So um, just know that we as Stampin' Up! demonstrators are here for you. And um, if you would like to, uh, if you're feeling a bit lost or um, you still wanted to go on with a business or still wanted to be, have access to discounted paper craft products, then you would be most welcome to um, join my paper crafting community. Um, my team is called the Paper Craft Gems and I do believe that every um, member is precious and valued. And so if you would like information about um, how you can join my team or if you just want to find out more information about Stampin' Up, please feel free to reach out to me and I'd be happy to answer any of your questions um, and support you in this transition as well. Um, so just know that that is there available to you. Um, so yeah. All right, so moving on, um, I just want to say thank you to everyone again for coming today, for joining me, whether or not you are watching live. Sorry, I've just got to pop this over there. I forgot to put that up there before. Um, if you're watching live or watching the replay, and um, if you're watching over on YouTube as well, thank you so much for visiting my YouTube channel. So I will put all of my um, social media contacts um, and my email and everything uh, in the description of this video, okay, both on Facebook and on YouTube. So be sure to be following me on all my social channels. And if you're watching this on YouTube and you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, be sure to 
click on subscribe and then if you click on the bell notification at the bottom and um, tap on all notifications then you'll get notified every time I upload a new video so you'll be sure never to miss out on anything. I also have a newsletter as well and I'll add that link to the description of this video as well so if you'd like to keep up to date with all of the Stampin' Up! news um, I also put in there some sample projects and things like that that you can copy if you would like to or to just give you some more creative inspiration um, so feel free to subscribe to my newsletter that would be awesome alrighty so um, just a quick few things we have a couple of things coming up so next week so I'm just thinking today is the Friday the 25th and March is going to start on the uh, sorry the first of March is going to be next Tuesday so I will be going live on Monday afternoon at four o'clock 4 p.m Australian Eastern Daylight Time but if you're not able to make it um, hopefully I'll be able to go live again on Thursday and I didn't say the reason why I didn't go live yesterday was because I wasn't feeling well um, more about that later perhaps but yeah um, just to let you know so if I miss you on Monday, let me tell you, there's a couple of awesome promotions coming up. Um, we have got um, the Waves of the Ocean um, products that are going to be available from the 1st of March. Well, actually, this one's, a, yeah, 1st of March. I was thinking it was the 2nd of March, but on here it actually says the 1st of March. So there you go. So these are beautiful products. These are going to be available from Monday, uh, Tuesday, sorry. Um, Stampin' Up! demonstrators have already had op the opportunity to get their hands on some of these products already. We are still just waiting on the designer series paper, but all of the other products are available now. And these are just gorgeous. Look at those projects. Really, really special. Um, stamp set and dies. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? And these wave dies, they um, layer together and they give such an awesome effect. Um, my delivery, I ordered mine last week. My delivery has just arrived this morning, so I haven't had time to unpack it yet. But this is in there, so I'm excited to get that out and have a play. So we might have a play with that perhaps next week um, because that'll be live for um, customers from the 1st, which is next Tuesday. So that's coming up, so look out for that. Now, as well as that, we've got another awesome special that's going to be running for all of um, March, from the 1st to the 31st of March. And this one is fantastic because you can get a great, it's called Savings Are In Bloom, that's the name of the promotion, but you can get awesome discounts on the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine it's going to be discounted by 20 percent now that never happens and it may not ever happen again so if you already don't if you don't already have a mini stamp and cut and emboss machine or you don't have a, a um die cutting and embossing machine at all this is a great opportunity for you to be able to get this as a at a fantastic discounted price um, it might be a one one time only special on these machines we don't know they haven't done this before so um yeah they're not planning to do it anytime soon again after this so be sure to jump on that one and get the uh, the mini machine i'll be um using that over the next few weeks as well to um, show you how you can use it so um, yeah now not only that but there's some awesome specials on some of the bundles um, some of the stamp and die bundles so i've got a whole big sheet here of all of these ones i'll be using some of these over the next few weeks to um, share with you how you can use those with your mini machine so some of these um, are current bundles there's a few that are current bundles but there's um, some others that are currently available as separate products but they used to be bundled previously in a, in a previous catalog but during this promotion Stampin' Up! Are, only, are going to bundle them back together and give a 20% discount on them so that is a great saving so i'll be talking more about that um in the well next week and and ongoing but if you would like more inform information about that let me know i'll be popping that in my newsletter so make sure you subscribe to my newsletter so you can keep up to date with that 
and I'll put the list of all the products in there that are discounted. I'll also put that in my um, Facebook business page here as well next week. So be sure to look out for that, but that is a fantastic promotion. So we've got two promotions running next uh, that are gonna be starting next week. So that's super exciting. Now we still have Celebration running as well at the moment. Um, and those of you that are familiar with Celebration know that it's a great time to um, shop because you can earn free products. So during Celebration, I'm just finding my brochure here. Oh, I didn't grab it off my shelf. I better grab that off my shelf, two secs. I'll roll myself over. There we go. It's the easiest way for me to get around at the moment without um, putting my back out again. <laughs> so um, during celebration, here we go. There we go. Um, it is a great time to shop because with orders over $90 and $180, you can earn free product from the celebration brochure. So there's lots of um, different ones in lots of different products in there that you can choose. There's stamp sets, there's um, designer series paper, and you can choose those from the brochure with the qualifying orders. Now we're gonna be playing with some of those today. So I'll be able to show you how to use some of those today. Um, not only that, but during celebration is a great time to join as well because um, when you join my stamping community during celebration, um, you not only get a great um, bargain on your starter kit, which is the best uh, value deal in the catalogue, uh, you only pay $169, but you get to choose $235 worth of product to put in your starter kit. And that's products of your own choice. It's not a predetermined kit. You can choose whatever you like to put in, in that um, starter kit. And um, also too, on top of that, you'll get to choose two free stamp sets as well during celebration. Now celebration is being extended. I know it says the 28th of February on there, but here in the South Pacific, which is Australia and New Zealand, it's actually been extended to the 16th of March. So you've still got a couple more weeks to get, um, to take up the opportunity of celebration. The reason for that being that we were a little bit delayed getting some of the products for celebration because of the global shipping crisis and so Stampin' Up! are very kind to extend it so that we have the full um, sales period to be able to take advantage of um, that awesome promotion. So if you would like more information about Celebration then please let me know. I'd love to help you out with that. I want you to get the best value and max uh, the best deal and maximize your value. So be sure to find out um, about that from me whether or not it's about shopping or whether or not you're interested in um, joining my fun stamping community. Now, not only do you get all those fantastic um, specials when you join Stampin' Up, you get an ongoing discount on your product. It starts at 20%, which is an awesome deal. And then um, you can work that up to 25% over time as well if you choose to. So there's no, um, there's no pressure to sell. If you would just like to join to get the discount for yourself, then that is totally fine. Um, you're able to do that, but you'll be joining my wonderful, amazing stamping community. We have so much fun together and beautiful friendships and connections. Um, I'm there to support you. And um, there are so many benefits um, where as demonstrators, we're able to get early release products. Um, we get access to all the new catalogs early before um, the general public, before the customers. We get to attend um, demonstrator only events, which we've got one coming up soon, which is super exciting. Um, and all different sorts of things. You'll get to um, be, participate in uh the wider Stampin' Up! family as well. And you have the opportunity of meeting new friends from all around the world, which I have done, which is not anything I expected, but it has been such a blessing. And um, yeah, just such an amazing community. And Stampin' Up! really does care about their um, demonstrators as well. And they really do put people first and they really, really look after us. So there you go. So that's just a little bit about Stampin' Up! But I can give you more information if you're interested, then feel free to get in contact with me. But remember, you've also still got time to shop.
So um, there we go. Okay, so we've also too got our current mini catalog. Now this one is running till the end of June. So um, this one has got lots of beautiful products in it. And I've still got some that I haven't, I, I've ordered quite a lot. And I've still got some that I haven't touched yet. I haven't got any ink on some of them yet. So you have to keep watching because I'll be using some of those over the next few weeks as well. Um, and then of course we've got our big annual catalog which mine is open to a specific page oh I think I think uh, my daughter was using that last night but we've got a big annual catalog as well so that's another thing too if you would like a paper copy or a hard copy of any of these catalogs please let me know because I'd love to get them out to you um, if you're here in Australia and you don't already have a Stampin Up demonstrator that you are working with so that's just a little bit of news um, and Yes, so uh, as I said, be sure to subscribe to my newsletter to keep up to date with all of the upcoming news. Also to any of my classes and things that are coming up, um, I also will email everybody um, about those as well and keep you updated with that. If you like to do um, classes and tutorials and things like that, then um, that's another thing that I do keep everybody up to date with. All right, let me catch up with a few comments and then we can get started. Does anyone have any co any questions while I'm here? If you have any questions, feel free to um, ask me. Ah, oh, Tina Marie said she's home now, so she's no longer puppy sitting her grand puppies. Oh, there you go. I'm sure you had a lovely time with your little puppies. <laughs> um, uh, do do do. Oh, okay, yeah, so Megan said that she's got the old um, big shot that we used to have before the stamp and cut and emboss machine. You can actually see my big machine, oh, it's over that shoulder. You can see my big machine over there. Um, that's the large machine. My mini machine is, is down the bottom. I'm not getting that out today, but I will be getting that out um, probably next week and um, showing you that. But um, yeah, before we had the Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, Stampin' Up! used to sell um, the Big Shot. So a lot of us had the, the Big Shot. And Megan was saying that she's got the Big Shot. Uh, she wasn't planning to get the Mini, but she probably will end up getting the Mini. The Mini is awesome. It's so handy. It's great size to just have on your desktop. It doesn't take up too much space because it's little. And um, it's very lightweight as well. So it's great to sort of carry around, move around. I've been using that more lately rather than my big machine because um, my big machine is a bit more heavy duty and I've got to stand up doing that one whereas my little one I can sit down at the desk and use my my little one um, I mean the big one I can put on my desk too but it takes up a lot of space and it's very heavy and at the moment I can't lift it so my mini one's been um, a real blessing lately um, uh, doo -doo -doo. Megan says I'm you now have one of everything in the celebration caddy. Oh, that's great. Fantastic. Well, any extras that you earn, Megan, you can give them away as gifts. There you go. <laughs> oh, and you just promoted so you get the 25% discount. Oh, congratulations. That's awesome. It's always good that that additional 5% makes a difference, doesn't it? You don't think it will be. You, you sort of think, oh, yeah, it's only 5%, but it does make a real difference on your orders. So, all right, so today we are going to be playing with the beautiful Friendly Hello stamp set and the Coordinating Designer Series paper. And these are free items. I'll have to open up, I'll open up the pack when I put the camera down to the desk to show you all the beautiful papers. These come together as a bundle um, during celebration with orders over $180. And so you can get these for free, they come together. So they're so beautiful and that's what we're going to be playing with today and we're going to be making a beautiful, beautiful card. So what I'll do is I will flip the camera down to the desktop and we'll get creating. So who's creating along with me today? Let me know as I get this all set up. Let me know who is crafting along with me today or are you just sitting and relaxing and enjoying what I have to share with you today? All right, so this will be a little bit noisy and clunky as I just adjust my camera. I'll just tighten up all my clamps. They can be a little bit squeaky sometimes. And try and get this straight. Get my lights all hooked up ready for you. 
and there we go so let's just I'll just wait until the um, video catches up and then I can tweak this a little bit to straighten it up because it would be really annoying to have it all wonky it would drive me crazy there we go a little touch more and I think we will be good to go that looks pretty good all righty awesome so let's get these lights happening good okay so any of the products that i'm showing you today um you can find them in my online store at mandy's um, via my blog so if you go to my blog um, up the top of my blog you'll see a shop button so go to mandy's papercraftcreations.blogspot.com i haven't got that straight now either have i <laughs> um and then click on click on the shop button at the top and that'll take you through to my online store and you can have a little browse around there um, when you click on that link it doesn't mean that you have to shop there you can just have a little browse around have a look see what you um see if there's anything there that you like and then if there is then you can um, log in now if you don't already have a customer account with um, stampin up be sure to create one um, i always make sure that i let everybody know not to um, sign out as a guest because if you sign out as a guest i'm unable to then contact you and, and stay in contact with you so be sure that you do sign in as under your customer um, account and if you don't have one you can set one up there you'll see a little button when you go to my online store where you can create one um, and yeah and, and anyway it'll prompt you if you forget and you go to place your order it'll actually come up with a prompt to say um do you want to sign out as a guest or do you want to log in don't sign out as a guest make sure you log in because i want to be able to look after you as my customer now um for my customers i i send out um thank you cards to all of my customers and if you use my host code and this is my february 2022 host code if you use my host code and your um, order is over $50, I will also send you a thank you gift for shopping with me. So there you go. All right, so celebration. Let's have a look at what we're playing with today. So
Okay. Can you hear me now? Hang on a sec. I'll just plug that in. Okay. Can you hear me now? Is that better? Can you hear me now? Yes. Good. All good. Tina Marie, can you hear me okay now? Just waiting for, so Megan can hear me much better. Okay, awesome. I think what it was is I looked up at my camera. I had, for, um, my phone, I should say, um, because I can't see the screen of my phone because it's facing down to the desk. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Tina Marie. Um, there was actually an alert on there saying that my battery was flat because I had plugged in my power cord to my phone and I hadn't plugged it into the PowerPoint. <laughs> So that's why you couldn't hear me because it went into battery saving mode. Oh, so sorry about that. Anyway, you saw the beautiful papers. Um, you saw them laid out okay. I hope so. And um, the beautiful stamp set that coordinates with them. I was just asking, um, oh, you do that all the time, Megan, too. Yeah, it's easy to do, isn't it? Um, especially when you're not looking at the screen of the phone because <laughs> it's facing the desk so it's above me um but yeah what i was going to say is or what i was going to ask you is does anybody else already have this set and i know megan you probably do because you said you've got everything in the celebration brochure which is awesome um so i'm imagining that you have this but just wondering if anybody else has it already as well all right, let me show you some of the other products that we're going to be creating with. Well, you know what? First of all, let me show you the project we're making today, the beautiful project. We are going to be creating this beautiful card today. However, we are changing it up a little bit. So this is the original, the original model, and we're going to be changing it up a little bit to just change some of those colors around. Um, so that'll be it'll be great to see the two different cards side by side to see how they look oh hey deborah how you going sorry i didn't see you jump on here great to have you with us you have it as well awesome that's so cool um so yeah so this is the one it's just a, a standard um tent tent fold sort of opening card bottom to top cut it looks a little bit like a fancy fold doesn't it when you see the front because there is a fancy fold style of card that looks like that and opens that way with that piece being the fancy fold. So it's a little bit of a, um, a deception there. Um, looks like a fancy fold, but it's actually an ordinary opening card. So there you go. So it goes to show you can get a different effect. So I'm going to pop that one up there to uh, at the top. And I'll show you the other products that we're going to be using. So the ink pads we're using today are Granny Apple Green, Pool Party, and Shaded Spruce. Okay, so we've got those three colours. Uh, we're also going to be using some of the beautiful um, window check ribbon. Now this is from a uh, different suite actually. This is from the um, oh the windmill suite, which I can't think of the name of from the mini catalog. Just trying to find it. But it goes really well with the colour scheme of this um, card. Yeah, it comes from the flowering fields. The one with the windmills and the tulips. That one. It comes from that suite. So that's where you can find it. Um, the ribbon is actually, it's quite a deep colour. It's in an evening evergreen colour. If you look at it from a distance, you think, oh, that's black or it's navy or something like that. But up close, you can actually see it's evening evergreen. So this goes beautifully with the color scheme that we have for our card today um, and we're going to do a little bit of coloring with our stamp and blends i'm just getting all the rest of my stamps out i'm going to be using some stamp and blends and a wink of stella as well so we've got fresh freesia in the light and the dark so we're just using that one color um, in the light and the dark and then we've got the light smoky slate Okay, love that ribbon. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it, Megan? It's a really lovely ribbon. And, of course, our beautiful Wink of Stella to add a bit of bling. Now, of course, we need a black ink to stamp in, so we're going to be using our Memento today. And I've got a little dauber here, and I've already got ink on me. Lucky I had my... I think that's come from the ink pad. Lucky I have my baby wipes with me. 
because I already need them. <laughs> Let me give my little ink pad here a clean. This has gotten a bit inky over the last couple of days, I think. It's a good, it's a good idea to give these a clean from time to time. Do you all do this? Do you all give your ink pads a bit of a clean? Because they can get a bit of ink around the lid there, and especially when we're handling them. And be careful underneath here too. can pick up a bit of ink under there too. It's a good idea to give them a clean from time to time because you don't want to transfer that ink onto your projects. And it's always a good idea too with the... Um, with the coloured ink pads or the, the classic stampin' pads, always check them as well to make sure you haven't got any excess ink around them. And if you have, again, just take a baby wipe or you can take a chucks cloth or something like that and just um, give them a wipe over a piece of paper towel, wet paper towel, and just give them a wipe over. From time to time, they do get a bit inky here and there and they just need a bit of a clean up. So I think we're good to go now. There we go. All right, I'll check my hands, make sure I don't have any more. No, nope, all good. All right. Now, at the end, stick with me to the end because I have got some other samples of projects to show you made with these products as well, um, with the paper and the stamp set, and they're beautiful. So make sure you stick with me to the end and I'll show you the other projects as well. Okay, so I've got my glue dots out as well. We'll need that for the ribbon. So let me show you. Oh, and of course, I've got some rhinestones. So I'll, I'll be going to be using some um, basic rhinestone, uh, rhinestone basic jewels as well when we go to do our bling at the end. Because every card needs ribbon and bling. Very few of my cards don't have. There's a few every so often that don't have ribbon and bling, but most of them do. <laughs> All right. So this is the color scheme we're going to use this time. And let me pull that. Hang on a sec. Let me just get that out of the packet for you. Oh. And I'll give you all of the dimensions. So if you would like to make this card too, um, you can make this as well. Okay. So this time we're having a base of Petal Pink cardstock. And oops, let me open it up the right way. So this is half a piece of A4 cardstock and this measures at 14.85 centimetres by, oh sorry, 21 centimetres by 14.85 centimetres and then we've scored and folded that at 10.5. Sorry, I'm getting my, I was getting my measurements mixed, mixed up because the last card I gave measurements to was one I was filming a class for and it was, yeah, different measurements. <laughs> anyway. So that's that one. Then we've got some of the beautiful Friendly Hello Designer Series paper. And this time we're using the Pool Party side, um, which is different to, this is the original one. So we're using the same colours, but we're just changing it up a little bit. Okay, so we're using a Pool Party side. And this piece is 10.7 centimetres by 9.7 centimetres. Then we've got our matte layer of basic black, and this is 10.9 centimetres by 7.9 centimetres. And then this is the piece we're going to stamp on. So this is just um, basic white, so regular basic white, and it measures at 10.5 by 7.5 centimetres. Okay, so we're going to start with our stamping. So let's put all of these other pieces to the side. Now, I didn't bring out my... Oh, let me see if I have it over there. I don't think I do, actually. Mm. No, I don't. I don't have my stamp and pierce mat. It's out in the other room at the moment. My craft room is still in a little bit of a disarray because um, I, we had to move quite a few things out of here to put the bed back in when I hurt my back. So some of the... My tools and things like that are kept out in the other room and then we just bring them in as you as I need them. But I forgot to bring in um, I forgot to bring that in and I also forgot to bring in my grid paper. So let me see. I'm gonna raid my scrap bin just here for some paper. Oh look, I've got a piece of grid paper that's in the bin that had something else on the other side. I'll use that. This is my paper scrap bin, so it's all right, I'm not pulling it out of the rubbish bin for the general rubbish. Because <laughs> that would be yucky. This is my paper scrap bin. Um, yeah, because this is another thing that's not in my craft room at the moment. It's out in the other room. But it's all good. Let's recycle. Okay, 
So what we're going to do first is to stamp our images. So we're going to start off with stamping our um, our flowers first because oh actually our sentiment first is what we're going to stamp. So I'll just take the lid off this one. Ah, now I can see why my ink pad was getting all mucky. Let me grab that wipe again. I'm just going to wipe around the edge of that lid. Can you see how that's all inky? You know why? Because I think I just recently inked up my ink pad as well. So it's just made it a little bit more juicy than normal. And that is why I'm getting ink everywhere. So just give that a little clean up. There we go, that's better. And now I'll have to clean my fingers again because now I've got more black ink on me from that. Okay. All right, I'll just give my fingers a little clean over here and we'll be good to go. Okay, I don't want to transfer that ink. Rightio. Okie dokie. So let's start with our sentiment. So this is the Hello Friend sentiment. So um, because the images are quite bold on here, with my memento, I like to rub, 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 and then tap, tap, tap. By rubbing it around, I just find that it helps the ink to um, stick better to the photopolymer. I don't need to do that with red rubber, but with the photopolymer, I find that that is helpful. And then we're going to stamp that. Now, I don't have my stamp and pierce mat underneath for um, that extra cushioning, so hopefully we will get a reasonable stamped image with the memento. Usually I like to use a stamp and pierce mat, especially with sentiments, because it gives you that extra bit of cushioning. Oh, that's not too bad. Gives you that extra bit of cushioning and you get a better stamped image. But as I said, I don't have it with me today. That's okay. All right, so let's just ink off, stamp off to get any of that excess ink off. And then we'll just clean that on our chamois, our Simply Chamois, which is a fantastic cleaning tool. Okay, we'll keep that nearby because we're going to use that again. Next, we're going to stamp our flowers. So I've got the two petal flowers there. And we're going to stamp that down. I'll do the same. I'll do rub, 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 and then tap, tap, tap. I've got more ink on me. I'm having an inky day today. There we go. And we're going to stamp these down the bottom so I want them going that way and we're going to just stamp them just slightly off the edge of that bottom corner that bottom left corner okay so just there we go beautiful and we'll ink them off again give them a clean straight away um, it's especially important with photopolymer stamps to clean each stamp straight away because they do tend to hold pigment of some of those deeper colors of ink so if you clean them straight away, they might still stain up a little bit, but they won't stain up so badly. So don't let the ink just sit there on them forever and a day. All right, so next we're going to stamp the um, little flower, the little um, leafy bits. So I'm going to bring in the shaded spruce. And I'm going to use this little one which is, I'll show you on the stamp case because it's a bit hard to see, this little one here. Okay, so we'll stamp a few of those. So this is in the um, shaded spruce. So we'll have one there and we'll have one down here. There we go. So we're just going to do two of those. Give that a little clean. And then we're going to use the large leafy one. So this one here. And we're using the same color. And we're going to add some of these. So we're going to add some of these just Going off the page, it's always a good idea to have some scrap paper underneath you when you're stamping because then it protects your desk if you're doing stamping off and things like that. So we just want a couple of those ones. Give a clean again. Now we're going to add a pop of colour using 
the two leaves, the two um, solid shaped leaves, these ones here. So I'll bring both of those in. And lastly, we're going to do the colouring. Oops, oh, wrong colour. <gasps> Lucky I checked. We forgot to swap colours. I need to swap over now to the Granny Apple Green. Oh, that was nearly, that was nearly a uh, opportunity for creative, what do they call it? Creative opportunities. <laughs> Never any mistakes in card making, only ever creative opportunities. So, but we want a pop of colour. So let's change to Granny Apple Green. Oh, hey, Alison, how are you going? Great to have you with us today. Um, Megan was just saying, um, oh, that some of hers, her, some of her ink pads leaked a little bit and she, so she's still been cleaning them up. Yeah, <laughs> it happens sometimes if they're a little bit juicy, um, but thankfully they're fairly easy to clean up with a chucks cloth, a wet chucks cloth or paper towel or um, just baby wipes as I did. All right, so we're just going to stamp a few of these larger leaves here and there. And then we'll stamp some of these smaller leaves as well. So I'm going to stamp one like that and another one up here. And it doesn't matter if they overlap a little bit. Don't be too worried if they overlap. One there and one there like that. There we go. So we've got our leaves stamped now. All right. Okay, so I'm just going to give these a clean. Oops. I was just thinking I had my pool party um, stamp out too, but I don't think I'm using my pool party stamp. I don't know why I had that one out. Oh, yes, I do. I know why because we've got a dauber around the um, DSP with that. So we'll do that, we might do that now too. We'll let all that ink dry for a little minute and we'll bring in the pool party. Yeah, because I was thinking, hang on a minute, I finished my stamping. What was I gonna use that one for again? <laughs> I was forgetting where I was up to. All right, so pool party and we're gonna use a dauber and we're going to dauber around the edge of this paper. Now this is an added step. You don't have to do this. I just like the look that it gives. It just gives a darkened, a darkened edge around this designer series paper and just helps to give it a little bit of a border because we're not putting this one onto a coloured matte layer. Um, this just helps it look like it is on a coloured matte layer because it gives that little bit of a border. So you just go around the edges very gently. I'm just holding my dauber sort of at 45 degrees, almost 45 degrees to the paper or 90 Wait, what is that? 90 degrees? 45 degrees. 90 degrees to the paper. Um, can you tell I'm good at maths? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so just keep going around and that will just give you that nice soft edge. Now, if you don't have any um, daubers, but you would like to do an edge, dauber gives you the soft edge, but if you would like to have that edge around, that darker edge around and you don't have a dauber, what you can do is you can actually dip your cardstock into your ink or what you can do, if you're very careful, you can use the edge of your ink pad to just go along the edges like that of your cardstock. When you're doing it that way, you do get a little bit of like um, a streaky effect, which looks really great. I've done that sometimes when I'm doing distressing. Um, but if you dab it in that way, then you will just get that darkened edge. So depending on which way you want to do it, but there's lots of different ways you can try um, to get that nice darker edge um, around your designer series paper. Okay, great. So there we go. Now we're going to do a little bit of coloring. Now we're only doing a tiny bit of coloring on our um, on our flowers. And so this is really quite easy. So I'm using the light smoky slight just my light smoky slate just for the centers of the flowers not doing any blending with that 
there we go that's as easy as that is and then we're going to do some um, light fresh freesia and dark fresh freesia on the flowers so I'm going to start with the dark and I'm going to go over all of this detail here with the dark first So Stampin' Up's made it really easy for us because they've already got the detail in there for us. So, and you might like to do a little bit of extra deep colour around the centre there. And then what we're going to do, and we're just going to do one flower at a time because we want that ink to stay wet so that we can blend it with our light colour. Let me just check. Yes, I've got the light fresh freesia now. So with the light fresh freesia, I'm just going to colour the rest of that flower and at the same time I'm blending that dark colour just to take away those harsh lines but still have that depth of colour. So we're still going to have that bit of shadowing um, and where the detail is it's going to be slightly deeper and towards the centre of the flower it'll be slightly deeper. Now with these lighter colours, so this is a fairly light colour, you don't get as much um, or it's not as dramatic like the shading and the shadowing isn't as dramatic as with some of the darker colors you can go back in again with the dark if you want to um, but I'm not too worried about doing that on this project because I don't want it to get too like I don't want the um, shading to be too super dark I just wanted to keep it nice and easy today because my Thursdays are usually about um, quick and easy cards. So try not to overcomplicate things too much on a Thursday. If you want some more detailed projects, come along to my Monday Facebook Lives at 4pm. Because that's when I usually do more detailed projects the majority of the time. Sometimes I do some easier ones on Mondays too. But generally I do the more detailed ones on Mondays. Okay, so we'll just add some of this detail in here. So as you can see, if you haven't seen the Stampin' Blends before, um, they are dual tips. So we have the bullet tip and we have the brush tip. They're an alcohol-based marker. So they are great for blending and you get really a really beautiful, soft, smooth finish with your colouring with using the Stampin' Blends. They come in the Stampin' Up! colour range. So they coordinate beautifully with all of our cardstock and our inks and our designer series papers. Um, so that's another great reason why I love them because of the um, color coordination with all of the products. And you'll find that right throughout the range of Stampin' Up! products um, that everything coordinates beautifully because um, the color range is followed through and um, with the color range, it's Stampin' Up!'s own colors so yeah so i love that and with the stampin blends they're available in most of the stampin up colors there's a few colors that aren't available mainly because they're um, in the blends they're quite close to another color so say with the yellows um, and i think one of the other colors there's not every color in the range might be the yellows and the oranges or something i can't remember now but um, most of the stampin up colors have the coordinating blends and as well as that too we've now got available some brand new um, natural tones blends which are great for doing skin colors hair colors um, coloring animals or nature th scenes um, yeah they've just become available too so there's 10 new natural tones um, colors that have just become available which are super awesome so yeah so check them out if you haven't seen them check out the stampin blends on my in my online store there we go all right so that is as easy as that is now um we'll wait for that ink to dry a little bit and at the end i'll add my wink of stella i just want that to um to dry before i start adding in the wink of stella Okay, so now we can start putting everything together. So let's move aside our scrap. I'm gonna leave my Wink of Stella right there so that I don't forget to add it because knowing me, I'm probably gonna forget. <laughs> okay, so let's layer all of this up. I'm gonna use my stamp and seal. Okay, so we'll first of all put down our designer series paper. 
whoops, and we're going to um, attach that over to the left side, and then we're going to offset our focal image. All right, so when you're using designer series paper, some of it is directional, some of it isn't. This one seems to be directional because, well, actually you could probably use this one up either way. To me, it looks like it look, I like the design better going that way. But if you did it up the other way, it would probably still look fine. So I'm going to use it up this way. And we're just simply going to pop this down on this side. So we're leaving an even border or roughly even border um, at the left side and the top and the bottom. So we've got about, what have we got? About a three millimeter border there. Okay. And then we're going to layer these two pieces together. So I'm going to put adhesive on the back of the white piece. And also to just so you can see um, when you're using the Stampin' Blends, it does um, absorb through the cardstock, especially when you're doing um, blending because you're adding color on color and it's causing it to absorb more into the cardstock. Now also too, I've only used, um, actually did I use, I think I just used regular basic white. Usually when I'm coloring with Stampin' Blends, I use the thick basic white or the thick very vanilla. Um, but because I was only doing a small amount of coloring today, I just grabbed the um, ordinary. But yeah, it um, always another good idea, another good reason why you should cover up your your work surface so that you don't get that ink going through onto your desktop okay there we go so now what we're going to do is we're going to pop some Stampin' Dimensionals onto the back of this piece and we're going to pop that up so Stampin' Dimensionals are our um, double-sided adhesive foam sheet our uh, foam does come in sheets as well but it also comes in the regular size the mini we have um, an assortment pack in the black as well Actually, the black ones would have been good on this today too because we're using black, but that's okay. I've got these ones out. I don't have my black ones out right this minute. Um, so, yeah, so they come in lots of different sizes and colours, well, the two different colours, and then we've got the solid sheets as well. So if you're doing lettering and things like that and you want to pop them up, um, the sheets are the a great one to have as well. All right, so then we'll just remove the um, protective backing paper from our dimensionals. And I'm using my Take Your Pick tool, which is a fantastic multi-purpose tool for lots of different things. It's probably the most my most used tool, apart from my cutter, my paper trimmer. This one would be my next most used tool in my craft room. All right, so now we're lining this one up so that we've got an even border of the designer series paper top and bottom. And on the right side, I want to have that three millimeter border to match what I've got on the left side. Or thereabouts, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing this by eye. I'm not measuring with a ruler. So, you know, we do it by eye and we do the best we can. There we go, but that's not too bad. All righty. Great. Now what we'll do is we will add our ribbon and our bling and our wink up Stella. Okay, so, all right. So what are you up to today, Alison? Are you crafting today? Are you, how's the weather down there too? We've had an enormous amount of rain this week. How's it going down there in Melbourne? See if me, if um, Alison is still with us. All right, so we're going to tie a nice little bow. And I'm just tying that straight off the spool so that um, it makes it easier for me to do it that way. And then I shall use my scissors to cut my ribbon. Whoops, hang on a minute. Let's go this way. No, wait. Which way? This way. This way. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What's happening today? I'm all over the place. There we go. Oh, I got that a bit a bit too long. So we'll trim that up a little bit. Uh, that one's still a little bit too long. We'll cut that one down a little bit more. There we go. And what are you making today, Tina Marie? Are you making some more of your beautiful cards? 
Are you using any particular um, stamp set? Are you focusing on any particular stamp set or any particular designer series paper or anything like that, Tina? Or are you using um, what's in your stash? There we go. So there we've got a nice little bow and we're just going to attach that bow with a glue dot. So I'll grab my little glue dot, my mini glue dots. Um, ah, Alison said it just turns sunny as you were asking. Ah, cool. We need some of your rain though. Haven't had much this month. Oh, right. We've got an awful lot. And you know what? It's funny because um, we'll send some down south to you, Alison. <laughs> It's funny because often at the beginning of the school term, um, it always rains. I don't know why, but always at the beginning of the school term, it always seems to rain up here in Sydney. <laughs> I think it must be raining up north too because my niece posted a photo the other day of the river where she lives is um, flooded. And um, yeah, it's, the river is really, really high. I'm just going to trim this end up a little bit more. It's a bit longer than the other side. There we go. That's a bit better. There we go. Now let's add our bling. Well, that's nice that you've got a bit of sunshine down there. But yeah, if you need the rain, I think our dams are probably pretty full up here at the moment. Um, last I heard they were full and now we've just had a deluge of rain this week. So our water tank's been overflowing, probably flooding our neighbour's yard. Um, which John said he's going to have to do some extra uh, drainage outside. He'll have to work on that because, um, yeah, apparently it keeps flooding our, down into our neighbour's yard because our neighbours are down a bit lower than us. So it's not good. We don't, we don't like to flood our neighbours. All right, so we're adding some beautiful bling on there. We're using up our um, large rhinestones. And now we'll add that gorgeous wink of Stella. So we'll give this a little shake up. Always a good idea to um, shake your wink of Stella to distribute the glitter in your glitter brush. Um, so Alison said right now she's crafting a cake for your mother-in-law's birthday. Oh, lovely. <gasps> Very beautiful. What sort of cake is it, Alison? I used to do a lot of cake decorating back in the day. I used to do um, novelty cakes and they were always very popular. But um, I don't have time really these days. So I've, I've handed over the cake making baton to my girls and they make gorgeous cakes now. So, oh, I think I've got the nearly empty one. I have, this is the empty one. Hang on a minute, let me get the other one. I've got three of three Wink of Stellas running at the moment. <laughs> I don't know how I ended up with three. But, um, oh, Tina Marie said she's using the Marvelous Paper. This, that's, this, that's one of the Celebration free products too. Um, the Marvelous Paper to make a special project. I'm using about five to six, five to six dies sets for it. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. Oh, I'm glad I did that over paper because I just squeezed that way too hard and it came pouring out. Did you all see that? Always good to test it first on scrap paper before you take it to your project. And that's the reason why. Because <laughs> sometimes we can squeeze it a little bit too hard and it just all oozes out. So we just want a little bit of sparkle in the centre of our flowers and it's still really runny. I'll have to have to store it. I might have been might have actually had it stored up the wrong way. I have to store it up this way. So it's a good idea with your Wink of Stella brush to store it with the cap up. So that all the liquid isn't sitting there running to the um, to the brush. And then when you're ready to use it, then you can give a gentle squeeze to get the liquid running through it. Um, but yeah, I think I might have had that one stored upside down. I'm going to check my other one now too. Oh, I've got that one stored up the right way. And that one, I think that other one can go in the bin because it was empty. Alrighty. So there is our beautiful project finished. Can you see that little bit of Wink of Stella in the centre of those flowers there? It's just a subtle little... Um, glimmer there and let me show you the two cards together so that's the two different color variations of the same card what do you think which one do you like best do you like the fresh freesia base or do you like the petal pink base which one do you like better I think they're both beautiful but it depends on 
the um the colors that you like yeah and it's um it's great to be able to do that as well to use the same layout and just change your designer series paper just use a different piece from the pack that from the same pack and um, you can make a whole heap of different um different looking cards but using the same layout oh allison is making chocolate and zucchini cake to use up some zucchini yum oh she'd love to see some of my cakes from a while back oh i have to send you some photos allison yeah i've got lots and lots of them oh awesome that sounds really yummy oh tina marie likes the petal pink base one. Ah, oh, cool deborah likes them both oh thank you deborah which one do you prefer allison just looking to see who we've got on there now if you're watching this back on the replay feel free free to comment as well um, because I do go back and look at all of those comments and I get notified when those comments come up as well and so um, I like to always go back and, and look at them but yeah feel free to let me know which one you like best or do you like them both so there you go so that's our project for today nice and quick and easy I hope that you um, liked that and just as I said like very minimal amount of products i just had three ink pads and as i said you don't even need to do the extra inking around that piece if you don't want to um, two different colors of stamp and blends because when you order the stamp and blends they will come in a combo pack of the light and the dark um, so i only had used two packs of stamp and blends and then of course you need your black ink pad as well so yeah so there you go so there's a, a nice easy project for you to make now of course the the wink of stella that's also an added step you don't need to do that if you don't want to um of course i do like the ribbon and bling but of course if you don't have the ribbon and bling it would still be a beautiful card oh allison said the petal pink she likes the petal pink one best ah uh, beautiful and you like the inking around the edge yeah it lifts the paper a little bit doesn't it just gives that little bit more definition around the edge there it's a little bit more subtle on this um on this piece here on the pale papaya it's not as easy to see the inking around the edges on that one it's there but it's a bit more subtle because it's a lighter color so but yeah you can definitely see it a lot more on the pool party so there you go great all right well let me flip the camera back up so that i can say goodbye to you oh and wait but wait We've got two more cards to show you. I promised you I would show you two more cards, didn't I? All right, so let's pop those two over there. And let me show you a couple more designs using the um, stamp set and the designer series paper, the free ones from Celebration. We've got this beautiful one here with the little birdie on there. Isn't that gorgeous? Using some of that other designer series paper. Actually, we're using the same paper on these two cards here. And then i've also got this one as well so there's four different cards using the hello what is it called i forget what it's called already friendly hello that's the one <laughs> the friendly hello um stamp set and designer series paper and there are four different ideas for you using that so remember these products are free with an order of $180 during celebration. So until the 16th of March. So this is the set that you will get, or the bundle, as we call it, the bundle that you will get, or that you can choose for free with a $180 order. So there you go. So keep that one in mind if you are shopping. Remember to um, go to my blog, click on the shop button at the top, um, remember to use my host code now if your order is over $250 don't use my host code because what will happen is Stampin' Up will give you Stampin' Rewards which will mean you will get a percentage of your um, order in free product that you get to choose and they will let you know that in your um, order so just make sure that you read everything on your order but know that if you're ordering over $250 don't use my host code because you'll get those Stampin' Rewards yourself and you'll be able to um, use those as a little free shopping spree on your order, which is super cool. So there you go. You like the bird one, Tina Marie? Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? I was tossing up between these two as to which was my um, favourite one. 
but um, yeah, I, I can't decide between these two, which is my favorite one. This one is Amber's favorite one, actually. She loves all the, um, the designer series papers. So yeah, well, there you go. So there's some ideas for you. So I hope that that helps you in your creative journey. So let me pop the camera back up now so that I can say goodbye to you. All right, so bear with me for two secs and I'll just get this set up again ready for you. Well, here we go, clunky and squeaky again. Get that set up. Squeaky, squeaky. It makes quite a noise, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Oh, I better flip those cameras. Oops, not that one. Flip this one. Just flipped the wrong camera. There we go. Instead of left to right and up to down, I went front to back. <laughs> so many ways you can flip these cameras doing a Facebook Live. You've got to make sure you press the right button. <laughs> there you go. All right. So I'm lined up. I've got myself lined up again. Okay. So how about I hold both of these up? Because I showed both of those, even though I created one, but I showed both of those. So there we go. So I'm glad that you like those. They're really pretty, aren't they? Love that designer series paper and um, that stamp set is just gorgeous and so much you can do with it. So keep that one in mind. So thank you all so much for being with me today. Um, those of you that are live with me today, thank you for your time. Those that are watching the replay, thank you for visiting a, um, my Facebook page or my YouTube channel. Remember to... Um, Subscribe to my newsletter. The link will be um, in the description of this video, both on Facebook and on um, YouTube. So make sure you subscribe to my newsletter so I can keep you up to date. Um, if there's anything I can help you with or you have any questions, please feel free to get in contact with me and I'd love to be able to help you. Um, so I will be live again on Monday, next Monday at 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. So I hope that you can join me then. If not, I hope that I'll be able to get back to doing my Thursday mornings um, next week or sometime soon. <laughs> Thursday um, mornings are just a bit tricky at the moment for me with my back because I'm still recovering from my back injury and it takes me a little while to get going just so that you understand why my Thursdays have been a little bit hit and miss lately. My Mondays are constant because it's the afternoon and I'm okay by the afternoon. My mornings are a little bit slower at the moment um, as I get my body moving um, and get my back to cooperate. So just um, to let you know that that is the reason why. And that's the reason why I've gone live today on Friday instead of yesterday because yesterday I wasn't feeling great. So yeah, but I hope that you can join me again. Um, remember, remember to um, follow my face, my Facebook page. If you're not already following my Facebook business page, the link will be below here if you're watching on YouTube. Um, and if you're not following my YouTube channel, make sure that you go over there and um, su subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. And the link for that will be here in my Facebook page. So there you go. So all my links, they'll all be there. All right. Thank you so much, everybody, for your support. Thank you so much for being here. And I look forward to crafting with you again really, really soon. Okay. Until then, happy crafting, everyone. Bye.